Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, it is the 25th of February in the afternoon over here in the Bay Area. <laughs> With snow on the ground. Lots of snow on the ground. It hasn't snowed a while over here. And there's great shots of beach shots. I think it's from Southern California as well as like Santa Cruz with snow on the beach. Now for the folks on the East Coast, that might be a more normal thing. Here on the West Coast, this just doesn't happen. Not not at the low at sea level. It's very rare to get snow that sticks at, at, uh, at sea level. Uh, the mountain ranges, it looks like the snow got down to about 1,500 feet or so. And it's starting to uh, retreat back up to like 2,000 feet where the looks like the snow line is. But purpose of this, <laughs> this reading, whether aside, is uh, Kevin McCarthy released uh, security footage, thousands of hours of security footage to Tucker Carlson because nothing screams investigative reporting quite like Tucker Carlson. I'm just asking, I'm just asking questions. But um, so I wanna find out why did Kevin McCarthy do this? You know, what's the deal, Kevin? And then I'm gonna follow up with what's going to be the fallout of Tucker Carlson having all this video. I know Benny Thompson had some choice words and they were, you know, very professional. It's like, there's no, you didn't put any guardrails down. You didn't put any criteria uh, with this data. You just gave it to them. We don't do that around here. You set up, you set up guidelines. So it's that you're not compromising security. You know, the locations of cameras, for instance, people who are storming the Capitol probably want to know where the security cameras are. And you don't want them to know things like that. But anyways, Kevin McCarthy, why did you do what you did? Well, something had to happen quickly. What was that? He had to move quickly. He's feeling trapped. Uh, <laughs> he made a promise. Now he's got to keep it. Yep. There's the emperor. That's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. Underneath it, the winning card. Okay, um, this information had to come out and he had to give it out quickly. Why did he have to do that? Because he's the Speaker of the House. Now, being Speaker of the House doesn't mean you have to give Tucker Carlson uh, security footage, but when you're feeling trapped because of agreements you made in the past, yeah, this is a concession. This is a concession that he made to uh, to the crowd, the the twenty people that weren't voting for him, and you know, there's that agreement, there's that party. It's like, okay, you know, I promised you I was going to do this, so I went ahead and did it. So, yeah, why did he do it? Because he promised he promised people he was going to do it. Who did he promise? The people he made deals with. Who are the people he made deals with? It was the the seditionist party, the, the MAGA crowds, the Matt Getzes of the world. That's what that was. Okay, now. What's Tucker Carlson going to do with all this? You know, Fox News right now is in big, big trouble with the, the Smartmatic and the uh, Dominion voting machines lawsuits. And I just did a video on that one, and I got some great answers on that. So shameless plug, if you, if you haven't, go watch that video. I'm really, really excited how that came out. Not the least of which because, probably because it just came out the way I was hoping to come out. But, you know, I'm kind of into justice, so... You know, and I don't care. I don't care who, who justice needs to be brought on. I want the wrongdoers to have suffer justice for their wrongdoings. I don't care if they wear red hats or blue hats. Okay, but what's what's Tucker Carlson going to do with with this information? You know, I'm I'm curious because he, he has to be really careful. Is is he going to is he going to actually do reporting on this? Is he going to sell information? Yeah. I don't understand. I mean, the obvious thing to me is that he's going to cherry pick certain things to try and create sound bites and a new narrative, as it were. But what's Tucker Carlson going to do with this information? Uh, King of Swords. He's going to be analyzing it. He's looking. He's going to be looking very carefully at this. And you can think of the sword as cutting out things that he wants. And there he is again, searching. He's looking for something. He's looking for something. What's he looking for? Okay, he's. It's a nightmare. Um, probably the situation with, um, I don't know what situation he might be in legally or if he has any involvement in the insurrection, but something's keeping him, something's keeping him up. It's a nightmare. And 
he's not going to find what he's looking for. He may find some stuff, but whatever he finds, however he spins it, it's not going to help him. It's not going to give him the happy ending. He wants the happy ending. He wants to have control. He wants the happy ending because he's living a nightmare right now. He's looking for the information, but he's going to be disappointed in what he finds. So what's he going to do with it? I don't know. We'll find out. But know that whatever he does do with it, it's not going to work out for him. So that's my reading on uh, on the outcome of uh, why Kevin McCarthy gave Tucker Carlson all that information, as well as what Tucker, Tucker Carlson is going to do with it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share it with friends if you think they'd be interested. I appreciate your help on this. Have a great afternoon.